If you don't stay active and exercise, you could, of course, become weaker. Someone who is more sedentary, the lower leg muscles can get quite weak and therefore that affects your balance. It can also, being sedentary, create decreased motor control of your body. Caregivers are, uh, play a big role in patients' uh, progress. Um, I highly recommend that they can participate in some activity with them, something as simple as um, doing a crossword together for mental acuity. Uh, as well as maybe a walking program to progress their strength and conditioning overall. Um, or it could be something as simple as reminders. Um, you know, as somebody may um, help, you know, say, bring them a meal, um, also just say, hey, you know, how's it going today? And have you walked or have you tried to do this exercise or that exercise? Caregivers are very important. Um, for reminders as well as participating. Seniors should follow, as with a lot of others, the food pyramid and making sure, again, you have a good wide range of vegetables, fruits, whole grains that you ingest throughout the day. Um, for seniors, in my opinion, having a little bit more iron in their diet as well as calcium combined with vitamin D for healthy bones uh, is also especially important, but mostly, again, just a wide variety of, th of foods. Both um, physical therapists and occupational therapists that work for Liberty Home Care um, always involve home exercise programs with their patients. We usually see them a couple times a week, and we, from day one, um, instruct about a safe and proper and appropriate exercise program for them so that they can continue doing that when we have finished seeing them. Also what we do is always um, assess their home for safety. Um, so if there are any risks like rugs on the floor um, or um, anything that's in their path, we address that immediately to make sure that they, uh, the patient is safe in their home. Patient who has benefited from our program, again, we see them in the home when they may not be able to um, walk to their kitchen and back. Um, so after hospitalization, um, it's very common that we see people, of course, increase their strength and functional mobility. And then combined with um, involving other aspects of health like nutrition, um, hydration, um, and then just a general health um, advice, they can um, progress into the community um, and get back to the routine that they enjoy doing. It's common that people aren't sure what it would be like to make some changes and doubt that they could do some of these things. Um, I would recommend that they find a friend that could also start some of these changes and don't try to change a million things at once. I would say um, just changing a, one or two things about your lifestyle um, and then after a couple weeks reassess how that's going and if you wanted to add more that would be wonderful but again anytime there's other people involved as a group or somebody who can remind you of things uh, that is also very helpful in compliance.